Welcome everyone back to another LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga news update. We've got some news and a bit of speculation about the game's release in today's video as well. We're going to get into the news straight away as I'm sure that's what most of you are interested in. But there are a few interesting points to consider with the game's release and why a possible delay could be imminent but then again it might not be so we're going to talk about that later on as well so leave a like if you do enjoy this video guys and subscribe if you're new now i wanted to firstly talk about those codes i discussed in my last video and on two of the sets there is a code that talks about unlocking a special character just a quick recap of the three different types of codes we've got so far we've just got the player in lego star wars the skywalker saga code which pretty much confirms the vehicle and the characters for the game. Then we have Play the Ship in LEGO Star Wars Skywalker Saga, which obviously confirms the vehicle from the set. This is on the Razor Crest and the Resistance Ship. And then the final type of code is Play in LEGO Star Wars the Skywalker Saga, find the secret code to unlock a secret character. And this is on two sets. And I actually missed one of these sets in the last video as well, but not to worry because we know who both the characters are going to be now, so I'll clear that up here. For the set that I didn't miss in the last video, the Death Star Final Duel, it has now been officially confirmed that Emperor Palpatine is the secret character who will be unlocked via this set. And then I did miss out the Advent Calendar in the last video, but not to worry because to make up for that, this also has a secret character unlock code. And we know this character is going to be the holiday themed gonk droid, which is a very interesting choice. You can see it on the box right there. However, I'm looking forward to this one. A skin for the gonk droid, or maybe there'll be separate characters. We don't know if skins are going to be separate characters or not in this game. So that's the news for today's video. Not much of it, but I did want to cover it. I also wanted to talk about the actual release for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga because let's be honest, news has been kind of here and there, not much of it. And it has led a lot of people, including myself, to kind of doubt this release date. Now on the official Star Wars show, they did confirm that the release date for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga would be October 20th, 2020, and then they removed that video and re-uploaded it without the release date, which was the first kind of sketchy thing to take place regarding this game's release. Now obviously there's been a global pandemic this year which could play a part and that's absolutely fine if a game was delayed due to a global pandemic. I think we can all agree that that is totally acceptable. However, Judging by the Star Wars show, they still seem to be on track for an October 20th release date. And then something minor happened with these LEGO sets that have obviously got the stickers on for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. These sets were actually delayed in the US and Canada. However, they're all still coming out on August 1st in all other countries and then September 1st in the US and Canada. So I wouldn't read into that too much, but for a second it definitely made me think, well, if this happens worldwide, then there could be an issue. But it has now been a year since the official reveal of this game and not much since then. There's no Gamescom this year, it's been canceled. Lego Star Wars isn't an EA game, although EA have the exclusive rights to Star Wars gaming. Obviously, TT Games are in charge of any Lego games, which means, thankfully, can I just say, EA are not in charge of Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. I'm pretty sure you all knew that anyway, so obviously nothing at EA play for this game. But I think what has definitely kind of made me doubt this release date, especially because it was removed from the Star Wars show, is the fact that another Star Wars game, Star Wars Squadrons, has been confirmed to release this year on the 2nd of October. That is just if we go off that release date of the 20th of October for LEGO Star Wars, that is an 18 day gap between the two. I don't know if Disney and Lucasfilm would allow this, especially considering 2021 is looking to be a very quiet year for Star Wars. We know Squadrons is 100% coming out on the 2nd of October. That will not be changed at this point. So it obviously begs the question, what is going on with LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga? Because I would think Squadrons hasn't had the best reaction possible in terms of the wider community. It's definitely looking, especially with not having DLC, that it's going to kind of be a forgotten Star Wars game in time. Hopefully I'm wrong with that. But I do feel LEGO Star Wars coming out 18 days later would possibly take away a lot of the player base from that game without a doubt because I think LEGO Star Wars is by far the more popular game out of the two. And with everything going on this year, like I said, the pandemic which can't be helped, I don't know. 
if this game could possibly be delayed. I hope not. Now then again, all these LEGO sets are getting the LEGO Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga theme stickers on them, so that could suggest otherwise, but these sets were probably finalised months and months ago. We know that from the leaks of the Razor Crest and the ATAT -AT that happened months ago as well, that they already had these stickers on. So what do you think? I've kind of added together the pros and the cons of this release date. What are you going for? I think it's a possibility, always, that this has been delayed. Why would they take it off the original Star Wars show in the first place? I don't know, maybe they're waiting for a trailer? But then again, where is this trailer? It's been one year now since the official reveal. And if you told me from that official reveal back in 2019 what do you think we'll have in a year's time, I would have predicted a lot more than we have already. And that's even without a global pandemic in the middle of it all. I just would have expected a bit more. The character images that they were posting on the Facebook and Instagram page kind of stops. We know there's a farm boy Luke Skywalker one which hasn't been officially posted since it was taken down from one of the international accounts. And there wasn't much they could do about the stickers on the Lego sets. In fact, a lot of people were covering these stickers before Star Wars themselves officially said anything about it. So it's almost like they've been forced to talk about them. But I don't know, things are just looking a bit fishy to me and I definitely want to know your thoughts. But let me know what you thought of this video guys, I'm really excited about the Emperor and the holiday themed gonk droid. That is a good one, I have to give them that. It's a weird one, a very strange one, but I'm looking forward to it. Like and subscribe as always guys, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you all next time.